The Institute for Catastrophic Loss Reduction was formed in 1998 by the Canadian property and casualty insurance industry as a center of excellence for disaster loss uh, research. Uh, our goals and objectives here are to reduce the impact of uh, natural disasters on people and property in Canada. ICLR is producing a series of videos for homeowners to educate them about what they can do to reduce the risk of basement flooding in their own homes. These videos we hope will be uh, adopted by municipalities, uh, plumbers, insurers and other people that are interested in, in reducing the risk of basement flooding for Canadian homes. Basement flooding is one of the biggest problems facing homeowners and homeowner insurers in this country right now. In fact, water damage has uh, exceeded fire damage as the number one cause of homeowner claims in the country. We're hoping that through these uh, videos and through the education uh, found in these videos that homeowners will learn how to reduce the risk of basement flooding in their homes. We've been working on basement flooding for a number of years now. Um, a lot of our work is focused on what homeowners can do, um, measures at the lot level, uh, as well as how homeowners uh, perceive and react to basement flooding events. Um, as part of our work, we've done uh, surveys in a number of cities in Canada on basement flooding um, and we've developed an array of uh, public education materials including the uh, basement flooding reduction handbook uh, released a few years ago. We encourage you to download the handbook from our website at iclr.org. It provides information on how you can reduce your chances and your neighbors chances of experiencing basement flooding. In the handbook, we discuss 20 flood reduction options you can consider to help you reduce your risk. Our research indicates that one of the most common reasons for basement flooding is uh, due to heavy rainfall events, particularly in older uh, neighborhoods or older portions of cities where sewer systems tend to be older. Uh, another problem uh, comes when sewer laterals are not maintained properly, either they've collapsed, uh, they've been obstructed by roots, uh, and in other instances they may be uh, uh, filled with fats and oils from cooking grease. Basements can flood uh, because of home plumbing issues. Uh, for example, if you have uh, degraded uh, sewer laterals, uh, sewer laterals with cracks in them or where tree roots have uh, gotten into the sewer laterals, it can block up sewer laterals and cause uh, sewer backup at the lot level. In general, uh, a lot of large-scale flooding events have occurred because of a heavy rainfall in Canada over the last few years. We've had a number of very large events um, resulting from very short duration but heavy rainfall events. One of the best things a homeowner can do during a heavy rainfall event to prevent uh, water from entering their home is to uh, minimize the amount of water that they use during the storm event so they don't overwhelm the system. So it's a good practice not to wash clothes, use a dishwasher, take a bath or a shower, or anything of that nature during a heavy storm. This is especially important when you have a backwater valve, which will be discussed later in this video series. It's important for homeowners to note that while sewer backup uh, coverage is very common in Canada, and indeed most homeowners have it, uh, coverage for overland flooding does not exist in this country. Overland flooding is usually caused by a body of water, whether it's a river, a lake, stream, a pond, and that sort of thing. It could also actually come from heavy rainfall events, but uh, provided the water flows over the surface of the earth uh, and enters the home, through doors, windows, or other openings, that would be deemed overland uh, flood, and that would not be covered under the standard policy in Canada. That being said, it's uh, very important for them to understand their sewer backup coverage and uh, speak to their uh, insurer or their broker if they do not understand this coverage to get a better understanding of how it works, uh, when it kicks in, uh, what the deductibles are, and that sort of thing. There are typically three types of flooding that affect Canadian homes during heavy rainfall events. These include sewer backup, overland flooding, and infiltration flooding. To address sewer backup, the most important things are to disconnect downspouts, disconnect foundation drains, which in most cases requires the installation of a sump pit and sump pump and install a backwater valve. 
If problems with your sewer lateral, such as tree root infiltration, have caused sewer backup, it is extremely important to address these issues as well. Proper lot grading is an important way to reduce the risk of overland flooding. And other measures, such as sealing above ground openings, can aid in reducing risk. Reverse slope driveways and sunken basement doors increase the risk of overland flooding significantly. Addressing lot grading, improving foundation drainage, and sealing cracks in basement walls and floors are very effective ways to reduce the risk of infiltration flooding. A homeowner should approach the retrofit of their home uh, by first calling their municipality or local government. It's absolutely imperative that they do this, first of all, to find out uh, if uh, such retrofits are allowed in their area. Not everything is allowed in every city. And secondly, uh, it's useful to know whether the city has a program that would reimburse them for all or some of their uh, expenses related to the retrofit. Usually municipalities have uh, public education materials that relate directly to their own municipality um, and even materials that relate directly to uh, specific neighborhoods. Um, and it's important to go to your municipality rather than look for uh, material from other municipalities uh, or in some case general material uh, because the characteristics of your own lot and your neighborhood differ uh, from other neighborhoods and other municipalities. Additionally, by contacting their municipalities, they can find out if uh, work permits are necessary, the plumbing permits or building permits are necessary, and uh, some municipalities may have a list of approved contractors that they can use uh, for such work. A licensed and approved plumber can conduct a thorough investigation of your home plumbing system in order to develop a clear picture of what specific measures can be taken in order to reduce the risk of basement flooding. Insurance companies also provide some materials on basement flood reduction and should be a source. Uh, either your insurance company, uh, your uh, insurance agent or insurance broker on uh, various issues related to uh, insurance coverage for basement flooding, which can be complicated in some cases. If your basement has flooded, one of the, one of the things you can do is record the nature of your flooding. Uh, if you notice that the water came in through your windows, through the overland uh, flooding sources, uh, you should record this and make note of it. Um, if your flooding has come through the basement floor drain, uh, through your sewer connection, or if it's come in through cracks in your foundation, you should make note of this and let your municipality know because this can help them identify causes of flooding in your neighborhood. Um, if they identify a lot of flooding from sewer backup, uh, they can look at measures to reduce the risk of sewer backup in your neighborhood. We encourage you to watch all the videos in the series and to download our handbook for reducing the risk of basement flooding from our website at iclr.org. Being well informed is the first step to help you reduce the risk of basement flooding.